I bet I drill a clean hole in somebody today. The reveal of Reyna was absolutely madness. I told you guys how she was trending all over Twitter, but she was also trending number eight on YouTube. Throughout this video, you will see a bunch of just fan art from all over the community just celebrating this character's announcement. It really is magnificent seeing how people love this character. If you just think about Tekken 7 and how people hated the new characters, to see this character and also Sanchez and also Aquarium be so beloved, it's amazing to see. So in this video, there's gonna be a lot of important things discussed. From tweets from Harada talking about what's gonna be happening after the release of the game two months from now. We have some things from Michael Murray, Tekken 8 might be winning some awards, Mortal Kombat is once again having chaos, stuff about Reyna, stuff about stages. In this video, I'm gonna be trying to summarize everything that's happening because there's a lot. But at the start of it, let's talk about what everyone's wondering about right now, the weekly trailers. Now. I see some people saying there's 12, there's 11, there's 10. No, there is a total of 11 characters. We have the screenshot here, five at the top, six at the bottom. Every other character on the 32 character roster has got there, as Michael Murray says, individual trailer. So we're only waiting for 11. Now, we were expecting Yoshimitsu's trailer to drop this week, but in the speech that Michael Murray and Harada gave that lasted like five hours, there was nothing in there that specifically said Yoshimitsu will be the first to drop. It could be any of the 11 characters. Everyone's just expecting Yoshimitsu because he's first on the list. But also, regardless, Regardless of who's coming first, we did not get a trailer this week and a lot of people are saying, hold on, why is that? Michael Murray specifically said now, but didn't show anything. And then I had a brain blast like Jimmy Neutron. In the EVO showcase, Michael Murray said the trailers start now. And then they immediately showed Reyna's trailer. So maybe we're misunderstanding and Reyna's trailer was supposed to represent this week and then the next week will be a different character. It's kind of what I'm expecting now. Something else that a lot of people were paying attention to is Bandai Namco Europe. They updated their playlist and there's 23 videos in that playlist. And a lot of people were like, oh, there's a trailer, there's a oh, but no. They updated this playlist simply by adding Reyna's trailer to it. There is no, as of now, there is no hidden trailers within this playlist. As an example, I added a private video to one of my own playlists so you guys can see the notification that pops up when there is something in there. Whether it's a deleted video, private video, unlisted video. If you ever put a video in a playlist and it's not public, YouTube will tell you. So there's nothing in here so you guys can stop looking at that playlist. Now, which day the trailer will fall? I don't know. Reyna was revealed on Sunday or Monday, depending on what world, what part of the world you live on. So maybe they will continue to do that Sunday, Monday. Or if you go back to what they did last time with Tuesdays, sometime Fridays, maybe they'll do that again. We have no specific date, but once they do drop the trailer, whichever day, then we could kind of pinpoint which day it is going forward. But with that being said, let's talk about everything else that's happening with Tekken 8. Like I said, there's a lot from Harada to Michael Murray to awards to stages to characters and so much more. We all know there will be a total of 16 stages in Tekken 8. And this person who posted this to the Tekken subreddit, they believe that this is the final 16. You have the Rain stage, Azuzina stage, two New York stage, Coliseum Arena, Underground Arena, Yakushima, Rebel Hangar, the Paris stage, Tekken 6 Remaster stage, Sanctum stage, the Desert stage, the Destroyed Building, Lei Shao Kahn's building, and Reina's stage. I don't know if this is all 16, it could be the final 14. And you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but did they specifically say that the daytime stage is separate from the evening New York stage. I know they've been keeping them separate, like one's been playable in the beta and one has not, but I don't know if they specifically specified that they're separate. I know in the past games they have like Infinite Azure 1, Infinite Azure 2, Jungle Force 1, Jungle Force 2, but are they doing that on the base roster? The next thing that I want to talk about on here is on Screenshot 2. You have Arena and you have Underground Arena. I don't know, once again, if these are two separate 
stages. They have shown very, very little of underground arena, but I don't know if these is specifically said to be separate stages or if this will count as one. Regardless, we're at 14 stages. A lot of people believe all 16. <laughs> Here's an interesting tweet from Harada that I want to touch on very briefly. He says, we plan to properly reveal the character birthdays after Tekken 8. I'm guessing the release of Tekken 8. Also, the reason Lily's mother is not mentioned is because Lily's mother is such a terrible person. But the part about Lily's mother is pretty interesting because we don't know much about her. We barely know anything about the father. And this kind of shows how this character ended up the way that she did. Lily is very twisted twisted because she views the world as her plaything like Asuka she stormed into Asuka's life and she's just trying to basically say your life is about me now and she's basically forcing her way into her home and all these things and you can see how the trauma from her parents is affecting her in my opinion interesting tweet from Harada let's move on Tekken 8 has been nominated for the most anticipated game of the year. The competition going up against Tekken 8 is Final Fantasy Rebirth, Hades 2, Like a Dragon Infinite, which I believe releases on the same day as Tekken 8. That's going to be very interesting because we'll be able to count the sales of Tekken 8 and compare it directly to a game like that and see like, you know, how it stacks up. You know, I love comparisons. And then also Star Wars Outlaws. Tekken 8 has tough competition. Mortal Kombat 1 is nominated for innovation and accessibility. On the topic of Mortal Kombat 1, you know they're still drowning in drama. An IGN news article, see people say that I'm just a Tekken fanboy, which is not true. I love Mortal Kombat. I played it since I was born. But even IGN is now taking shots at Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 1, Omni-Man, is cheaper than Halloween Fatality. This is how you know it's gone too far when IGN is even roasting you. Y'all can't be this stupid. Stop buying these inflated prices. It's only feasible reason they kept the prices this high. We have a couple of whales buying anything that hits the second it drops turning rewards and replayabilities into cash grabs. You can see people are not happy. More bad news for Mortal Kombat, the actor who plays Homelander will not be voicing the character in Mortal Kombat 1. This is the first time ever that he will not be voicing the character. Even when the character was made available in Modern Warfare 2, he voiced the character. This is the first time ever. But let's go back to Tekken. <laughs> One of the final things that I want to talk about in this video is a quote unquote leak that appeared on the Tekken subreddit. Now, before you guys click away, don't. This is not a real leak. It's 100% fake. The person who posted this leak to the Tekken subreddit, the mod clapped their cheeks. They removed the post, but I want to talk about it because of how hilarious it is. It depicts Jin Kazama riding a motorcycle. A lot of people identified this map, this place, this game as Arkham Asylum. But it's just so hilarious how this person was trying to get everyone riled up, and then the mods immediately shut them down. The final thing, this comes from a dono in a live stream. Thank you. I appreciate this so much, and also all of the support from everyone. It says, Favorite and least favorite redesigns. Two separate tier lists that I've created and I'll show them to you now. The first one is which character that I'm gonna play from main, secondary to the characters who I'm kinda interested in, but I'm probably not gonna learn them too much. And then the other characters, you know, and no. Least to favorite designs. Best and A is the designs that I think is fantastic. The middle section, these are okay. They're not good, they're not bad. It's, it's not really going above and beyond, but it's not really like bad either. And then the C to worse, these designs are not really bad either. It's just, I would've wanted to see more out of the characters. I feel like these characters were playing it 